Hey folks, it's Dr. Rowe. Hope you're well. It is, I don't even know which day it is, but all I know is it is a lovely day. And behind me, I've got an image which I don't know if it relates to what I'm going to talk about now, but I want to talk about synchronicity. We've just literally recorded our next podcast. Uh, sorry about the sh unshaven appearance, but it's been a f busy few days. And um, the subject was synchronicity. And we brought the subject up because there's a lot of people right now that are kind of realigning off the back of the whole experience with COVID and they're starting to search and pursue some of their passions again, getting back into their flow. And in the process of any journey you go through, doesn't matter what it is, finding a new partner in life, pursuing your purpose, your passion, maybe seeking a new opportunity to make more money, uh, pursuing health, whatever it is, whichever pathway you go down, there are always synchronicities. Now, what we talk about in the podcast is really how to spot a synchronicity, what is it versus what it isn't. And the point I want to make here is that often people use reference or make reference to, oh, that was a coincidence. The challenge becomes, what happens if you keep noticing a lot of coincidences around a specific path of your life? You're on a journey and you're looking for something, you, you know, you're in your mind and you're unconscious you're actually in pursuit of something different or a new idea. Now, there is a thing called the reticular activating system, which is part of our brain that when we become aware of something, we kind of notice it. You probably notice it's like you hear a word for the first time and suddenly you hear that word everywhere. Or you think about buying a car and driving around like, oh, there's one of them, there's one of them. And suddenly you see that car everywhere else as well. Um, that's a part of the brain that is to do with protecting us, but also making us aware. It goes all the way back to when we were running around trying to stay safe from a saber-toothed tiger coming after us. This is more subtle. This is about you tuning in to little messages that either move you away from, i.e. away from something that's not right for you, or towards it. And my experience is synchronicities start to show up, and when they do, they get more intensive. So if you're thinking, what the hell is this guy talking about? It's, it's to do, okay, have you ever had a situation where you're on a certain path, and then someone comes into your sphere of influence, maybe a meeting that you go to, and they start talking about the subject, which is nothing related to the meeting you're in, but it's actually very related to an idea, a project, or something you're pursuing elsewhere. It might be an idea of starting a business that you have, and you're looking to, you're feeling that you need to have the right people around you, and then this person starts talking about it randomly, and you just think, whoa, oh, that's a coincidence, and you move on. And then, I don't know, two days later, you happen to be out at a cafe, and you meet up with some friends, and one of your friends says, oh, I was just talking to this uh, close family member of mine and they've just started doing this and this and this and you're thinking shit that's exactly what I've been thinking about doing myself and you start asking questions about it oh, that's, that's really interesting what a coincidence and on you go and then maybe you get a leaflet or something some literature or the bank offer you some money towards a specific type of business opportunity which happens to be totally aligned with that particular business you're looking at that you've been hearing these messages from and you just go wait a minute, that's weird, that's a coincidence. And the difference is how you handle it. It's how you put it into your frame of reference. It's the meaning you attach to it. So synchronicities are extremely powerful in the sense that they, if you look out and you're aware of them, it's not like you go looking around going, right, I'm looking for a synchronicity. And we talk more about this in the podcast. It's more about becoming aware of them and noting it down because they will start to create a map. They're like little jigsaw pieces that are coming to you. This is my genuine belief. It's the whole concept that, let me just show you this to you. You know, this is us, right? You're a tuning fork. And out in the universe is another tuning fork that is aligned with that particular intention that you have at that moment in time. And the, the higher the frequency or the more energy you put behind the frequency that you're putting out to the universe, if that tuning fork is in your sphere of influence, and, it, and you are putting it out there, then whatever it is or whoever it is will start to resonate with your vibrational frequency. And that's why you start to bring those things into you. It's, again, it's the law of attraction, quantum physics. But now in this conversation where that person's conversation is totally aligned with what you've been thinking about elsewhere, and it could be that you're discussing something different, i.e. a meeting or a social get together, but inside you, your core intention is this. And it's vibrating and it's telling the universe is what I'm looking for. And that's what creates these synchronicities. Okay, so whether you take it or leave it, it's entirely up to you. But it works. And my experience is you have to tune into it. So if you've got an hour spare, go and have a listen to our podcast. Because Harminda basically drills down with me and 
goes through some of the things to look for, how do you tune into it, how to utilize it. But also we talk about being mindful of how it's also a message to possibly bring up areas that you need to be aware of that are warning signs. So synchronicities can be warning signs as well as attraction signs as well. And the minute you start to become aware of them, you can really tune into it. I mean, I've got to the point on occasions where it just a lot everything seems to align at exactly the right time every conversation leads to another one we suddenly put the right people around you so if this resonates with you go and spend some time with us on the podcast if it doesn't but you're open to it go and spend some time with us on the podcast if you think this guy's talking bullshit i really don't get into this at all i don't believe in the on idea of uh, synchronicity that's fine that's your beliefs and and then just let it pass on this occasion but it's always worth investigating and um there's more and more people actually tuned into this. And I think, yes, everything has to some extent a meaning that you put upon it. But remember, equally, it's about how you place it in the big jigsaw piece and how you can make it en enrich your life, how you can make your life better as a result of understanding what synchronicities are. That's really what I'm trying to say. Anyway, namaste. I shall see you all soon. And uh, look out for the next synchronicity. <laughs>